The ship is a complex ecosystem with different machineries and applications. In this episode of Life at Sea, we will take a tour of engine room on a large tanker. By the way, engine room is also known as heart of the ship. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this episode of Life at Sea, I would like to take you to the tour of uh, engine room on board our vessel. Uh, well friends, uh, it is a complex yet interesting arrangement of machineries and piping arrangement which are distributed across multiple uh, levels. Basically, it is a fascinating work of engineering and design. So let's not waste time and let's go on the tour of engine room of a large oil tanker ship. So guys, hope you'll enjoy this tour and definitely I would love to see your uh, thoughts in the comment section or if you have got any queries also you can uh, put it down in the comment section I'll be more than happy to respond to your comments well friends this is the entrance of our engine room on board it is located on port side upper deck in the alleyway you can see the safety posters well posted pertaining to engine room which all the engine room staff must adhere to at all times. Engine room is an area full of machinery equipment, electrical instruments, turbochargers, generators, etc. However, these equipments are managed by crew members on board who are responsible for its operation. It is very important that relevant procedures posters or caution signs and guidance concerning machinery equipment to be strictly followed to enhance personal safety on board and minimize human errors. You can see here his first engineer and he's our second engineer. They are doing good, huh? Yes. Okay. Okay guys, so uh, just for the sake of viewers, can you just uh, briefly... Guys, anything you can see from my friend is here, you know, whatever you just you can see everything. We have our two screens. This is our, these are for the speed and everything. This is for again for speed. That is for the scrubber. This is our main engine unit. Okay. Main engine telegraph. Where we increase the speed. Now, right, right now, it's on bridge. So okay. So everything has been controlled by bridge. Okay. Okay. Okay, so presently your number one? Number one and number three. Number one running. and number three is running. That's the reason this is yes. all marked. Uh, panel is lit on. That is working. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. And how about all this? These are all the pumps. Okay. Main yeah, breakers. Main yes. start breakers. Panels. All okay. pumps, pumps, blower, seawater, cooling, fresh water, fuel oil, fuel oil, everything is here. Okay. This is Pump numbers, yeah, means we put pump number set two, and that is pump number set one. So okay. Every month we change. Okay. Okay. Standard practice. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. This is and these are all the panels for us. Panels, uh, alarm indicators, and everything. Yes, everything is clear. Whatever you want to see, this is all touch screen. Okay. Whatever you want to see, we can see here. Graphs, graphs, everything. This is our UMS panel. From here we put UMS. Whoever is a good engineer, let's say on air condition. Okay. Especially on air condition, okay. What's the temperature right now in Asia? Uh, now it's minus 26. 26. Okay. 26. We have to keep it under 30. Otherwise, everything will get heated. Okay. Okay. Because that's a very important information. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, it's a requirement to keep under 30. Yeah. Otherwise, all these uh, you know panels will get heated up and you will get malfunction alarms. Yeah. So, if engine uh, is the heart of the ship, so ECR okay. is the heart of the east, uh, engine. Okay. Okay. Very good. Well said. Good. Good stuff. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for your time. Thank you, first engineer. Okay, guys. Now, from the engine control room, we are proceeding to the other parts of this giant engine room and second assistant engineer will be guiding me on this tour. Well guys, this is the engine room workshop. 
Workshops must be maintained in a clean and tidy condition with all tools kept in good working order with the, all the safety posters instruction in place. The area used for welding and brazing must be clearly defined and provided with the necessary means to prevent accidents and fires. Boilers are one of the essential equipments on board tankers. Its purpose is to provide heating to the main diesel propulsion engine, to the bunker fuel oil tanks, for the steam driven turbines of the cargo oil pumps etc. You can well see the bird eye view of the engine room. Just have a look on the exhaust gas pipe leading from the exhaust gas manifold to the funnel. Well guys, this is the incinerator on board. The purpose of a seaport incinerator is to get rid of solid and or sludge waste generated on board as an environmentally friendly approach, whereas complying with the latest IMO regulation. Guys, this is our diesel oil service tank and this is our lube oil settling tank. Now we are on our way to next platform and let's see what all other equipments and machineries are present. Fresh water generator, one of the important machinery on board a ship is something that cannot be done without. Fresh water produced from fresh water generator is used for drinking, cooking, washing and even running other important machinery which use fresh water as a cooling medium. Sewage on ship is generally the waste produced from toilets, urinals and WC scuppers. Guys, this is primary bilge tank whose function is to separate oil from oily bilge water by gravity. Guys, again you can see the lower part of boiler. A generator on ship is known as the heart of the ship. It is that lifeline which supports each and every function of the ship. Generator of the ship requires special care, attention and maintenance for its effective and economic running. We are having three generators on board. The air bottle or air reservoir is a large container acting as a reservoir to store compressed air supplied by the main air compressor of the ship at high pressure. This compressed air is very important to start main engine or auxiliary engine. Marine engine is the heart and main propulsion system of the ship. It's a massive machine which involves several parts that require equal attention. Breakdown of marine engine is a nightmare for marine engineers as the whole ship and its operations come to a standstill. Engines are used to turn the ship's propeller and move the ship through the water. 
they typically burn diesel oil or heavy fuel oil and may be able to switch between the two. It is very important to regularly check the proper functioning of associated parts and to ensure that there are no leaks as it can lead to fire. Guys, this is the purifier space in our engine room. A purifier is an important equipment with the sole purpose of purifying or cleaning the given media. Marine fuel oil taken from bunker contains solid contaminants such as ash, carbon, cat fines and dust that if remained unchecked will accelerate normal wear and tear damaging cylinder, liner, piston, piston rings and fuel injector etc. Marine engine is also provided with emergency maneuvering control system in case the remote control system fails to operate. The local or emergency control stand is normally located in the engine room near the fuel pump platform of the main marine engine. The changeover procedure can be done with marine engine installed as well as running condition. Now we are heading to the COP turbine platform. On our ship, we are having a vertical turbine turning the cargo oil pump, though some tankers have been fitted with horizontal ones too. Some use saturated steam, others superheated depending on the design and the type of boilers fitted. It works by virtue of being a steam turbine in the same way as any steam turbine works with steam entering the impulse blading and the exhaust going to the COPT condenser, usually called the main condenser on a tanker. Now we are on our way to the bottom platform. Guys, you can see now the main fire pumps. The main fire pumps installed on ships are located inside the ship's engine room. Guys, you can see the crankcase now. The crankcase is one such part of the main engine which contains the most sensitive components of the main engine. The crankcase is formed by the portion of cylinder block below the cylinder bores and the stamped or cast metal oil pan that forms the lower and closer of the engine and also serves as a lubricating oil reservoir. Guys, this is the flywheel. A flywheel is nothing more than a heavy mechanical device attached to the shaft to store surplus rotational energy. It acts as a rotating reservoir which store energy when it's available in abundance and releases when most needed much like a battery. Guys, this is the intermediate propeller shaft whose function is to transfer rotational power from engines to the propeller, which convert them into translational motion. Guys, this is the emergency fire escape trunk in the engine room. You can well see it is well insulated so that in the event of engine room fire, it is relatively cool for human survival and can ensure safe escape from engine room for the crew. Guys, you can see now the oily water separator. Oily water separator is used to ensure that ships do not discharge oil when pumping out bilges, oil tanks or any oil contaminated space from the engine room. You can well see the warning signs and posters for any unauthorized operations. Guys, you can well see how engine room look like from bottom platform.
Guys, now we are back to the boiler platform and we are proceeding to the steering gear room. Ship's engine room layout is provided with the steering gear to give direction to the ship. While discussing engine room layout of steering gear, the most important machinery we come across is the steering gear itself. The room contains the mechanism that control the steering equipment for ship including steering cables and hydraulic rams. This is the steering gear to move the rudder. The rudder can move 35 degrees to both starboard and port side. In case of emergency like steering gear failure or electrical blackout, this room serves as an emergency steering station for manual steering. Now we are on our way to inert gas platform, which is a vital part of oil tanker vessels. Inert gas system acts as a fire safety system on board and used to inert to purge the cargo tanks etc. The basis of inert gas production in the IG plant is the flue gas generated from the ship's boiler. The IG platform has IG fans, scrubber tower, and other associated components of IG system on board. Economizer is a type of boiler which is installed in the exhaust passage of the main engine and where the exhaust heat energy is utilized to generate steam from fresh water. EGCS compartment which stands for exhaust gas cleaning systems. Scrubbers or exhaust gas cleaning systems are used to remove particulate matter and harmful components such as sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides from the exhaust gases generated as a result of combustion process in marine engines in order to implement pollution control. These scrubbing systems have been developed and employed to treat exhaust from engines, auxiliary engines and boilers on board marine vessels to ensure that no damage is done to human life and environment by toxic chemicals released in the atmosphere. Sulfur emissions to the atmosphere by seagoing vessels are limited by new and updated international regulations which came into effect starting from January 1, 2020 under MARPOL. Guys, you can very well see how second assistant engineer is demonstrating the functioning of EGCS from the local control. This is very important that engineers are well trained to operate EGCS which will not only include operating the scrubber unit monitoring control system and carrying out maintenance but also safe handling of the chemicals used and scrubber waste. At the conclusion of my engine room tour, I just want to highlight again that an engine room and associated machinery spaces are hazardous areas and even in the best run vessels, great care must be taken to avoid incidents. At the end, I want to say thank you and cheers to the engine room department for safely and efficiently managing the engine room.